Welcome back to Let's Play Risen 2. Season 2 of Fluent's Choice. So last time we did a lot of monster exterminating and treasure collecting in Takarigua, particularly the eastern side of it. We killed a lot of we killed a lot of giant crabs. A lot of glory saving up for another point of we'll see probably cunning. But now, let's go see Captain Steelbeard, who I'm sure is on his ship. At least I assume the only ship is his. Daughter! Paddy at last! Uh, you old fart. No, look here. You walked out on me. I left you a sack of gold! Uh, yeah, and that makes up for leaving your child. You know where you can stick your sack of gold. It was the call of the sea! It was the same then as it is now. You want to leave me behind again? What kind of a father are you? The kind with enemies. A lot of enemies. I'm dangerous to be around, girl. I want you to be safe. Huh. Well, me being safe away from you hasn't exactly worked out so far. Then perhaps it would be better if you came with me. What do you say? You're serious? Of course I want to come with you. Well then, welcome aboard, girl. This fella you're with, another one of your sensitive types, is he? I thought he could sign on with you. Just aboard, and you're already making my decisions for me. Can everyone stop talking about me as if I wasn't here? Shut it, you. Shut it, you! If he can prove his worth as a pirate, I'll take him. But, I warn you. No helping him. Yeah. That lad of yours needs to swear the oath if he wants to come along. Why just him? I could swear too. Over my dead body, girl. Don't tempt me, old man. No daughter of mine is becoming a pirate. I'd be a better pirate She's than most. on board. Let's just forget it and have a drink. Ugh, only if you're buying, you mad old fart. To the treasures of this world. Aye to that. After my daughter, are you? Good luck there, lad. But I'm sure you ain't here to seize a few Inquisition prizes. So what do you want? I'm looking for the weapon against the Kraken. Are you now? And what do you plan to do with it? I'll use it to kill the thing. Ha! <laughs> well spoken. But the Titan Harpoon ain't just for killing the Kraken. A brave enough man could use it against Mara herself. Mara? What do you know about her? What don't I know about her? Titan Lord she is, with human puppets under her control. Like the one who's got the Titan Harpoon. You can bet she'll do anything to protect him. I can see why. What do you know about the Titan Harpoon? I know who has it, and where to find it. That good enough? Not that I'm saying it's gonna be easy relieving him of it, mind. You come after it with me. I've got to know you're up to the job. People say you're cursed. Aye, and also you tell I keep a mighty sea serpent inside my britches. Well, are you or aren't you? Scared of sailing with a captain under a curse, are you? Look, I need that weapon and I don't care what it takes to get it. Even if it means becoming cursed yourself. The stories are true. I am cursed. And so are all those who sail with me. So, you still want to come with me? Do I have a choice? Look, if it's the only way to get the Titan Harpoon... Interesting so that you know your end goal, you basically, the from the start of the Mara game. Mara sends all manner of horrors after us. Instead of like she wants 15, us dead, 20 hours old in. Steelbeard's too smart for her. Why does she want you dead? To that bitch. Everyone is either her servant or her enemy. And I'm no servant. So you've actually seen her in the flesh? We had our encounter, she and I. And here I am, still. What happened? Enough questions. You obey Captain's orders now. And the first order is... More rum! Who's Captain Garcia? Didn't I say enough questions? You did, but... All right, lad. I'll level with you. 
You've picked a poor time to become a pirate. There's a pirate war going on right now. So I heard. Aye, it's surely no secret. Those bastards Garcia and Crow have sided with Mara. For that, she gave Crow the Titan Harpoon and Garcia the Bone Hand. So it's Crow we want. But what's with this we? You want him, you can do it yourself. Your daughter trusts me. And you were in Puerto Sacarico. Which path did you take? Through the jungle or over the pass? Technically, I took the pass first. The pass? The longer and safer path. And it still gets you to the same place. That it does. What do I have to do here? Would it help if I told you about how I defeated a fire titan? Or that I can drink, fight, and plunder as well as any pirate out there? That would be a good start. I'll make you a deal. If you manage to get our rum on board ship, I'll let you join the crew. What's this I hear about you doing away with Meeks? And the sunken one he was talking to. Betraying us tomorrow, was he? Turncoat bastard. Should have guessed. He used to be one of Garcia's men. Well done, lad. He's no loss. Knocked a few lumps into that arsehole hack, did ya? Good lad. Ah, uh, this is the... Uh, did you do get enough, like, you influence points? Grand. Check. What's the problem with the rum? That old bastard booze. He's not got any to give us. I'll tell you one thing. We're not putting to sea without our rum. Give me some landlubber bollocks about supply problems. Oh, the rum's got to come. Only if you're buying, you mad. Uh. To swimming with. I've got something that'll maybe change your mind about me. Ah, here we go. Booze is gonna give you your rum. Ah, now you're talking, lad. I'd better negotiate a price with him. Might as well go through all this. I freed a pirate. Might get me some bonus glory. Really? Who is he? Lago. He was in that tower in Puerto Sacarico. Raiding Inquisition jails and freeing locked up pirates? Well done, lad! Might as well be an overachiever. I found Pete's treasure. <laughs> At least now I know you can read a map. I found O'Brien's treasure. Aye, by wrangling that map out of him. Low and underhand methods. That's a pirate way, lad. No, that was a completely above board, really. I've plundered some ruins. That might not have been a good idea, lad. Deal their treasures, and the natives' ancestors get a mite annoyed at you. I can take care of it. What's it gonna be? Will you have me aboard? Well, now, let me think. My patty likes you, but that might not be a good thing. You're not afraid of getting stuck in? Then there's the matter with Hank. Morris. Freed Largo. Pete's treasure. O'Brien's treasure. You faced the sunken one. Looted a ruin. Don't forget the rum. Oh, I and the rum. So, what's your decision? I, I think I got all the possible influence right. points there. You've got your uses. Swear the oath, and you're in. What kind of oath is it? Every man pirate who sails rank. with me swears on his blood pirate. that he's a true pirate. Sailing together and fighting together, that's the pirate way. After that, you're a pirate until the day you die. No backing out. What about sharing the loot? Every man gets his share. Although I've not been planning any raids, we're supposed to be after that artifact weapon. That slipped your mind? So what are my duties on ship? Ah, good question. We'll find something for you to do. Manning the crow's nest, raising the sails, whatever's needing done. So what's our heading? The sword coast of Arborea. That's where that bastard crow was going, and he's got the weapon, mind. You swear the oath, and I'll get the lads on board and we'll be off. So if you still want to talk to anyone about anything, do it now. I understand. Ready to swear the oath? This crow, what's he like? A grim-faced bastard, and a fine sailor, but mostly just a grim-faced bastard. I used to sail with him, but that was before he sided with Mara. Any idea what he's doing on the Sword Coast? No bloody good, you can be sure of that. 
He won't give up that weapon freely, so I hope you're ready for a fight. That's not a problem. I'm ready. Then get your clothes off. Excuse? Well, the lad's proved himself, but he's not one of us yet. Not until he swears the blood oath. <laughs> This'll be fun. Silence there. Repeat the words. I give my blood for the crew. I give my blood for the crew. I give my blood for the captain. I give my blood for the captain. We share our blood, our treasure, and our enemies. The oath is eternal. For life and beyond death. Ah. Welcome to the crew. Neck him down. You're on Captain Steelbeard's ship now. No slacking off. Can I put my shirt back on? Thank you. It's done. Pirate you are, and pirate you'll always be. Get ready to cast off. We're bound for the Sword Coast. Since you're new on board, you get to give the order to cast off. Do you get anywhere with Lola? No. More's a pity. I always knew she'd blow you out. If only. What do you make of the new man, then? You reckon he could be useful? Steel beard sailed with worse. Yeah. Back in the good old bad old days, eh? Figured I'd listen in on that. Ready to cast off. Lug holes open, you lazy dogs! In the shrouds! Down with that rag! Prepare to weigh anchor! Ugh, finally setting sail. Or I leave Takarigua. Here at last. Good. Crow's in for a bloody big surprise if he thinks he can hide from me here. So where do we start looking? No idea. But my bones tell me those shitbirds up on that tower can tell us. What tower? Blind, are ya? That bloody big tower with the two useless bastards sitting on top of it. You can see it all the way out to sea. Two of them shouldn't be a problem. Bloodthirsty sword, aren't ya? Let's loosen their tongues first. See what they know. Steel beard joins the group. Mm, three! Or two party members, I guess, technically. But. Eesh. And no map of the area. Oh. This is actually going to be a decent landmass, then. A little surprise. Provisions and grog. Or as we call that combo in the business. Provisions. Grog and two gold. 300 megabytes. Hello. There's a cave here. It's a crab cave. Steelbeard's kind of a crap fighter, it seems. I do also still need to. What the f cave bat? 
Doesn't look like any bad I've ever seen. I'm gonna let them handle this for the most part, I think. Whoops. And I just get basic claws off of them. That's a little unfortunate. Or are they guarding a sword? Five gold. And a bull worth a hundred. Oh, a golden nugget. That was a lot of gold nuggets. Actually, it looks like they have dialogue. What now? Oh, build a little farm, get some sheep, maybe a goat. Or we could look around instead of hanging about doing nothing. How am I doing? Better if you spent as much time fighting as you do chatting up the locals. I wish I hadn't asked. We don't have time to waste boosting your ego. You need some grog. Here, take a bottle. Oh, that's yes. so that they can heal. Got it. Know what's waiting for us here? Apart from Crow. Bloody murderous savages and a lot of trigger happy protectors, I'm guessing. Terrific. Aye. I'd like to know how Crow made it past him. So, what's so dangerous about Crow? It's surely not his brains. Dumb as a rock full of barnacles, so he is. He doesn't sound so tough to me. Don't underestimate him, lad. He fixes on something and then goes for it, full tiller. That's what makes him dangerous. It's dangerous to get in his way, and dangerous to try and corner him, like we're doing. You need some grog. Oh, he already has one. Alright. So I know one of the DLCs actually focuses on actually concluding Patty's personal quest. Wow, that water is literally just nothing. Oh, what the... Firebird. I don't know what to make of these things. They're like scavengers that do fire damage, I guess. Probably shouldn't have popped that emergency healing. Raw chicken. I mean, they're worth fighting strictly for the glory. Of fish, I guess. Um, oh, wait. Where's the tower? You're not talking about that thing, are you? Oh, no, you're talking about up there, that big stone one. There's also a temple up there. I you However, I do want to comb the beach for those boxes, because apparently that's something. I need to get ten of them.
freaking magnetized to them. It's really funny. So if I check under skills, is potion yeah, potions and talismans are actually under voodoo. So I'm gonna need that eventually. Anything good at toughness five? Not specifically, no. I don't know. I'll invest when I feel the need. Because currently I'm doing fine. To the extent that it would feel wasteful. Honestly. Oh, that's a big looking ruin. structures. Uh -huh. Faranga, blah blah, Volcano Keep, blah blah blah. I've heard the tale, thanks. This culture is very different. It's said they can control animals, even people. Better be extra careful then. Maybe you should look around for anything useful, then let's move on, quickly. Avoid the pressure plates. Warrior. Oh wait, I think there was already a warrior we've dealt with. I'm enjoying the fact that... Oh. Nothing to loot, okay. I guess I should more precisely say... I'm taking advantage of the fact that I have two people with me. Alter. I haven't got the item I need. Oh god, do I need to bring all idols around to open doors and stuff? Is that the trick? Or is it more this place has already been... Oh, it hasn't been picked clean yet. I'm sure he'll be fine. So do I put the same idol over here, or... I can. What does that do for me? Hey. Opens that door. There's a jade, jade idol. I'm gonna back off a little. Statuette, idol, statuette, jade, and plate. Ooh. Yeah, okay. I like the idea that, you know, the ruins are the places where you're going to be making a lot of your money. I can't get back in there, Frank. 
Okay, with that in mind, then. Yeah, load the autosave. Quick save before taking it to see if another room opens up. Kinda just the game saying get get some salt if you're gonna do that. Goons. Alright. Yeah, get in here, Steelbeard. Thank you. Does open another room. This one containing rituals. The shaman of the Shaganumbi caught all the thoughts of the dead in the bottle. As long as it remained closed, their wisdom would be kept safe for all time. If the bottle was opened, however, the wrath of the dead would be unleashed. I can't decide for the rest. Bottle of memories. Look for the bottle at the Shaganumbi tribe, tribe, rather. All right. One moment. Okay, back. So I got a legendary item location. You might want to move. All right, and now get it and run. Not a lot of traps in this one. And then I can get. Slightly obscene amount of treasure in this room. That doesn't even account for like. I I just realized something. Marauder Bites does not like shields. Oops. I get the spear. I don't think any PB game, unless Elix has them, has um, shields. I mean, I prefer the magnetic jump over um, oh, there's, oh, I need the monkey over the jump kind of not working 80% of the time in Gothic 1. I assume they fixed it by the second game. How much money is that, by the way, that I just nabbed? That is... 25... 135... 235... 735... Basically, I just got a thousand gold. 
No, I got over a thousand gold if I count the spears. Okay, I slightly parsed the block picking mini game there, but it's not the kind of thing where I could explain it, I don't think. Now I've seen it all. Pirates and savages allied together. Steel beard. What the fuck are you doing here, you rancid old goat shagger? Katayopi. What's he saying? I'm Captain Steelbeard, boy. I don't need permission from a runt like you to be here. Kapusheku! Kapusheku Bambule! This isn't gonna end well, is it? Watch it, you old has been. Messing with us means messing with Captain Crow. Crow? I remember him when he was still scrubbing seagull crap off ship decks. Enough talk. Kill him. Good enough talk. How about What's you? What's that mean? It means first we kill the idiot who doesn't speak our language. Let's have at him. <laughs> it took me a minute for Maddie to, to or to realize that Patty was actually making like a joke translation. Uh, I'm gonna eat and drink a little. Alright, that's one down. Ooh, pirates need to go because they have guns. Alright, one less source of damage. And then we've got this guy. already got us in trouble. It was Crow's men that started it. Huh, when you were five, from the sounds of it. Huh. Right, I'm gonna take a closer look at that tower. Why are you getting that at me? Literally, what did I do? Grog. Bullets and a pistol. Gold knight. Okay. If I'm gonna get a pistol for free, I'm fine with that. Oh, that's a good pistol, too. Pistol that exists by the thousands across the world. 60 damage, 8 steps range, 20 second reload time, plus 20 to the pistol skill. Yeah, that's gonna be better for me for now. Good spot for a camp, yeah? Well, would you look at this? Good tackerigua rum. But here's on your chest, that does. Made by old booze himself, I'm judging. So they were sitting up here getting drunk? Be poor bloody excuses for pirates if they weren't. Let them get drunk and then take them by surprise. Always the best way. <laughs> it's an honor to see a master tactician at work. Impudent young pup. So why were there only four of them, eh? See their faces when they clocked me, shit themselves so they did. If they knew old Steelbeard was coming, there'd be a dozen of them at least. Here's to swimming with bow-legged women. Yeah. Cheers. Sneaked bastards. They're working now. with the savages. That's Crow's game, is it? While we're here, might as well take a look around. And just yoink everything. Plenty of provisions. And saleable items. <clears throat> I 
and provisions that have yet to be processed. I like how it just is a thing that you can fry me in every PB game. Oh, I what have we here? Drop of rum. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. So three, two. Oh, four, three, two, one. I guess the easier ones are going to be simple forward or back. What do we do now? Crow got help from some savages, but that doesn't mean he's got them all on his side. They're a tricky bunch. We need to find out how much of a hold he's got on him. What about the protectors? They'll be hiding behind their barricades in Puerto Isabella, knowing them. We managed to get them to grow balls, and maybe they'll help against Crow. One thing puzzles me. I'm still wondering where Crow's ship's gone. Maybe he's got it hidden offshore somewhere. Uh, maybe. But I reckon not. If they captured it, then it'll be sitting in the harbor at Puerto Isabella. What's so special about that ship, anyway? Well, what if Crow hid the Titan Harpoon aboard it? Then the Inquisition would have found it. Crow would be a piss-poor captain if he didn't know the best hiding places on his own ship. So what are we gonna do? We've got what you might call a command decision to make. Go see what Crow's been up to with the savages, ah, or head here's south a to Puerto choice. Isabella to find his ship. What happens if we go look for the natives? Well, there's a village full of them west of here. There's a fair chance you'll run into him before then. Always lurking about the jungle, your average savage. Love the place. You think they'll be hostile? I'm hoping not. Be good to have them and their magic on our side. Still, what happened to crystal magic? Savages, <laughs> especially these Malacca ones. We'd best be on our guard until we know for sure. Rather be fighting with them savages than against them. That voodoo magic of theirs. Who wants to be facing that? Hmm. Crow managed to make a deal with them, didn't he? Ah, you find out how he did it, and maybe we can do the same. And who knows? Maybe they'll even turn you into a bloody voodoo magician. Let's head into the jungle and look for Crow among the natives. All right. As soon as you're ready to go, let me know. You lead, I'll follow. This way. I'd rather hang out with civilized people than imperialists. Follow old Steelbeard. Ah, the Sword Coast. Been a fair old while. Let me think which route to take. You been here before? I've been everywhere, lad. Everywhere. The things I've seen, the places I've been. Half the stories you wouldn't even believe. Just half? Quiet, damn you. Let <laughs> me think. Ah, now I remember. This way. Oh, I see. It just has him take that route either way, and then actually take whatever route will lead you to the faction you choose. Stay behind me. I remember this place. The shorter ways through the valley, and the longer ones over the pass. Safest to go over the pass. Where have I heard that before? What's along the other way? A lot of bloody nastiness that we don't need to go messing about with. Monsters, lad. Bloody hordes of them. We'll play it safe. Always the best way. This way. Follow me. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste a bullet on the claw monkeys. They're very easy to defeat. <laughs> I'll collect Follow old more resources beard. as I return through here, as That's I'm right sure on. I'll do at some point. Follow old Steelbeard. Stay. 
Stay behind me. Hang about. Something's not right here. This place stinks. What's wrong? Something about this cave's not right. Take a closer look at that. I don't want anyone sneaking up behind us. Whatever. Why did Patty leave You've the group? Been around. What do you know about this Oh, because he technically had left. Left a bloody note to leave it well alone. Men robbed of their minds, used as puppets. Scary business, Voodoo. Are you talking about those Voodoo dolls? Oh, there's worse than that. Stuff that can suck the life right out of you. Take my advice. Why does the game need me to be alone here? I'm gonna like, like the back off a bit here. <laughs> Not who I wanted to target there. And in fact, ooh. <clears throat> Thank you. I'll just waste a second bullet there. Thief's ring. Yeah, very high treasure game. Five dirty tricks, ten thievery. That'll be handy. Then, did the third one just go back inside? He did. Quick heal there. Oh, it's stuff in here, too. Defeated. Provisions. Statuette. Spear. This one's too hard for me. Chest locked. Not for long. I might as well invest. Because that immediately gets me something. Those. Okay, so I want. These two? I'm sorry, what? Three, two, four, five, one, six. Golden map of the Sword Coast. And Diary of a Pirate. Voodoo Nail was given to us as a sign of friendship, but that didn't stop us selling it on to a merchant in Antigua. Typical pirates. Antigua seems to have a lot of treasure. I don't need to sleep. Mushroom. I could have just put on that thieves ring. I now realize, but I mean, an investment's an investment. I don't think I actually care about any further cunning skills, though. Oh yes, I do, because I want the monkey trainer skill. 
Take my advice, girl. You stay well away. I've checked out the cave. And what did you discover? Someone's been there already. A scouting party, maybe. They made camp there. It's Crow. He's got this lot eating out of his hand. We'd best be hurrying on. Let's get out of here. Well, if you're sure it'll work. This way, lad! Like, I would have put that glory into cutting at some point. And I still don't need the investment in combat. Although I can feel that may be changing soon. Thought I saw something back there. What was it? Must be those blue claws. Bloody horrible things they are. We can take care of them with Steelbeard's old dumb bastard trick. I've got a feeling I know where this is going. You go over and make sure they catch a good sight of you. Then, when they attack, you hoof it over here, and we'll fight him together. And I'm the dumb bastard in this plan, right? What happened to the other dumb bastards when you last did this? They lived. Most of them, anyway. Just about got it worked out perfect now, so off you go. I can do that. Of course you can. Wait. Ugh, only you if you're buying, you mad old fart. To swimming with bow-legged... No, not that one. Him did not expect me to have such a sweet weapon. Oh, tough blue claw monkey. Oh, these boys. <laughs> Yep, they're tough. <laughs> Miss. Just getting claws per usual. The blue claws are dead. Look at the size of the bastards. No wonder they're so bloody ferocious. Bloody natives. I hear they've got a trick for making these things ignore them. Wish I knew what it was. Be bloody useful in this jungle. They're dead. Let's move on. Not much further to go now. If you say so. Just a little farther. Yeah, these games are very snarky. Which isn't everyone's cup of tea, I understand. Is over there on the other side of the river. Let's be careful. Never know where one of the savages might be hiding. Come on. I do appreciate that, like, the protagonist in quest log just say natives and not that word. Uh, I'll be over in a sec, seal beard. It was nice.
Follow old Steelby. All right. Here we are. Can't get much closer without someone noticing. Best if you go it alone from here. Not be having one of Crow's men recognizing old Steelbeard, can we? Okay, I'll look around. Good lad. And remember, we don't know yet how Crow managed to get him on his side. What are you going to do? Some vital reconnaissance. There was a barrel of rum in the camp with no one to secure it. I can see where this is heading. Then we've both got important missions to get done. Give me a shout when you've found something. Where's he off to? He's going to his storehouse. Back to his rum barrel. Perfect. Took him bloody long enough. Huh? You are a bit slow, but I think it's charming. <laughs> get to the point. He loves to tell stories when he's drunk. Maybe he'd tell you about his treasure with enough rum in him. You're not coming along? Oh no. This is a job for a man. But I guess you'll have to do. I'll see you later. Right. Uh, next time on Let's Play Risen 2, I guess we're going to go meet the main... Oh my god. Maybe I was wrong about the scale of this game. But, uh... Yeah, this is going to be the end of my first recording batch. Um, next time on Let's Play Risen 2, we're going to go meet the natives. See you guys then.